In this video we look at drawing a regression line on a graph. We have some data, the points have already been plotted. The equation of the line that goes through this data is this, y is equal to a plus bx. That's similar to y is equal to mx plus c. In the equation y equals mx plus c, m is the gradient, which is the same as the b here. So b is the gradient. The c is the y-intercept, which is the same as the a here, which is also the y-intercept. So b is the gradient, a is the y-intercept. In this example, I will assume that the regression equation has already been given to you. If there is a way of working it out, have a look at the other video for how to work out the regression equation. But in this case, we're just looking at how do we draw this line on the graph. The process is simple. Take two values of x, one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. So if I take x is equal to 50, don't use 0, there's no scale going up. Um, going down to 0, use 50, and choose 1 on the right hand side, uh, we could use 70 here. So if you put x equals 50 into the regression equation here, you get y is equal to 10 plus 2 times 50, which gives you 110, and if you do the same with x equals 70, you get y is equal to 10 plus 2 times 70, which gives you 150. Now what you're going to do is you're going to plot this point. When x is 50, y is 110. And when x is 70, y is 150. Okay, the first one. x is 50, y is 110. So you have this point here. The second one, x is 70, y is 150 there. And once you have two points, just draw a line that goes through them. So this line here is called the least squares regression line. This equation here is called the regression equation. The two points that we plotted should look different to the other points on your graph because they were not a part of your original data. These are additional points that you've added. So make them look different to the other points. If your regression line appears not to fit your data, so let's say you did your line and it was down here, clearly you've made a mistake either with the regression equation, so that equation's wrong to begin with, or you've made a mistake in the calculations here, so the two points you plotted and then you draw a line through them the line doesn't go through your data, clearly that's wrong. Okay, so go back and check things. Uh, the line should not be extended all the way down to here, because remember there's no scale here. So be sensible and just go up to the point where the scale terminates and not beyond. The two x values that we picked, they should be far apart from each other on the x-axis. There's no specific reason why it was 50 and 70. They're just easy values to work with, and they're quite far apart. I could have used them um, uh, 52. I could have used 68 at this end. Okay, and sometimes you may find that if you pick the values right at the end, for example, the 70 here, once you've worked out what the y value is, it goes off the graph. So then just come down a little bit, maybe 65, 66, that kind of thing, and then pick a different point. 